in this video I will talk about toll like receptors so this video is actually a uh, introduction to toll like receptors so these toll like receptors are actually pathogen recognition receptor so they detect pathogen associated molecular patterns or PAMs a PAM could be a portion of the bacterial flagella or a portion of the bacterial membrane the lipoproteins or even the bacterial genome or the viral genome so now we would uh, take a look at a current scenario and we would try to compare it with uh, the immune system let's say there is a uh, invasion by a terrorist and uh, the terrorist caused a plunder in a local region and now our patrolling police officer would go to that uh, region maybe our patrolling police officer don't know it's a terrorist but it can understand the terrorist by seeing that it has empty magazine empty bullet shells there so these are some trails by which he could uh, recognize that there may be an invasion by some bad goons or terrorist so he would then and there ask for backup so now think of these bacteria or viruses that invades our body as this kind of terrorist so they contain special kind of trails associate with them like the bull bullet shells or magazines so for a bacteria this kind of trails are like a portion of its flagella or a portion of its cell membrane or lipoproteins or even their genetic material so these are called PAMPs pathogen associated molecular pattern so just I'm pointing to a particular portion of a flagella which could be a PAMP so like our uh, patrolling police officer macrophage can also detect these pathogen associated trails or pathogen associated patterns so macrophage does this kind of function by their special kind of receptor which is present on the surface of the macrophage which are known as toll like receptor so now let's take a look uh, at a realistic situation our body is invaded by some pathogen and this pathogen entered our body because uh, the pathogen was associated with a rusting nail and the nail is invaded in our body and now the macrophage and the dendritic cell which are in the dermis region would then and there uh, try to find the pathogen and remember these dendritic cell or macrophages they are like the patrolling police officer so they would try to look for some trails and would try to identify the pathogen and how dangerous the pathogen could be and uh, so dendritic cell and macrophages both have some receptors pathogen recognition receptor which are called the TLRs the toll like receptors once the dendritic cell uh, identifies these uh, pathogen associated molecular patterns now it would go to uh, the lymph node and it would go to the lymph vessel and by the lymph vessel it could travel towards the lymph node and inside the lymph node we have our T cells and the B cells so, uh, those are the part of our uh, adaptive immune system so we can think of it like uh, the police officer detects the uh, trail that there is an invasion by a terrorist now the police officer would primarily need backup and would try to fight the terrorist but maybe this police officer is not very efficient in killing killing this particular terrorist so he need a superior uh, advantage and superior help so he would go to a army camp and he would uh, inform that there is a terrorist invasion and they need help so similarly dendritic cell are like this patrolling police officer they would go towards the army camp which is actually the lymph node because there resides the T cells and the B cells and the dendritic cell would actually activate that means tell the T cells or B cells about the pathogen invasion and now T cell and B cell would try 
to uh, reach the spot of invasion and would try to fight the pathogen. Now let's take a look at uh, details about the uh, uh, toll-like receptors. Uh, let's zoom into the surface of the dendritic cell. So once we zoom into the surface of the dendritic cell, we can see there are a lot of pathogen recognition receptor which are kind of like uh, the question marks and why they are represented like in uh, in a question mark mark fashion because their uh, crystallographic structure is uh, quite similar to a question mark so they are represented like this so here is a basic structure structural feature of these TLR it has a transmembrane domain as a as the name suggests the transmembrane domain embeds inside the membrane so these transmembrane domain mainly contain helix and they containing the hydrophobic residues and here is a domain which is the LRR which contains LRR repeat that means leucine rich repeats and here is the domain which is TIR domain that means toll interleukin domain and it has homology with interleukin uh, 1 receptor that is why it is known as toll interleukin homology domain and if you want to know more about the structural details of TIR domain please click on the link on the screen I have a separate video on that now we would uh, try to look uh, at the several types of these pathogen recognition receptor so uh, it would tell the dendritic cell that what type of pathogen actually invaded our body. So we have our uh, first TLR2 and TLR1. So TLR2 and TLR1 can heterodimerize. They actually recognize the parasites and the gram-positive bacteria. And then TLR4. And TLR4 are very important kind of uh, TLRs, toll-like receptors, because they are present in cell surface and as well as they are present in the endosomal membrane. So they are present in both outside and inside. So they can mainly detect gram-positive uh, bacteria and uh, also TLR2 and 6 heterodimerize, they form uh, heterodimer and they can recognize fungal pattern and they can recognize gram-positive bacteria also. Now. Here comes the flagella and the flagella is detected by the TLR5 and TLR5 and TLR5 homodimerize. Now comes the endosomal TLR which are present in the endosome and in the endosome we have uh, TLR4, TLR3, TLR7 and TLR8 and 9. So TLR3 and TLR7 detects double-stranded RNA and uh, double stranded a single stranded RNA viral RNA and the, the TLR8 detects viral ssRNA and the bacterial viral uh, bacterial or viral DNA the CPG islands are actually detected by the TLR9 and that concludes the video on uh, toll like receptor and next we would be talking about the TLR signaling means uh, how the TLR recognize the pathogen and what uh, the dendritic cell performs after recognizing the path pathogen. What is the action of the dendritic cell? And so it was all about uh, toll-like receptors. So if you like my video, give it a quick thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and please leave your comments below. Thank you.